morning my YouTube family we are back it is a brisk morning out here today <laughs> we had a uh, oh about a day and a half of some rain here but no puddles and the grounds a little tacky so we're gonna see how big Bob really does out here the main point of this video today my friends we got a lot of questions on you know how long does the the processor chain last you know just real quick, it's definitely, you know, it definitely varies through the season. I've noticed winter does not last as long as summertime, but um, I'd like to do a little comparison right now. I have that chain that's still on there that did all the hickory and I don't know how many loads of wood before that. So let's take a look, throw a log up there. We'll take a look at the saw feed pressure and then we'll throw a fresh chain on there and see the difference. Tell where it's starting, the life of it is starting to shorten. And if you, you know, change it sooner then wait until it's, you know, completely depleted I think it's a little better lifetime but uh, maybe I'm out to lunch maybe you know some of you guys that have a little more experience with chainsaw chain and you know what you know dynamics and stuff that's worked for you the best can you know leave a comment so yeah it's definitely a big difference from the warmer temperatures to the you know the, the colder temperatures that blade right now has caught a tremendous amount of firewood I can tell the real spirit is leaving it, so I think it's time to kind of change it to prolong the life and make that sharpening just much more, you know, easy for me. I think that's worked the best, so we're going to show you guys how that's done. But uh, yeah, everything's working great. Another beautiful day, a little chilly, but we got a job, 20 face order. That's a big one today, and we are going to try plugging away and see how many loads I can get out in the day. So approaching 7 30 in the morning and i think we'll be out here until dark so we're gonna have old big bob on the job again little bob has been giving high fives to it every morning <laughs> very rewarding part of the day oh yeah <laughs> all right we'll make sure we uh I'll just shove that little one through first it's got a it's tiny and we'll make sure the next one you know is kind of worth more of the the machine's time and the test show you guys maybe some of the difference between a blade that's been used you know for I don't I think that blade honestly if you guys want a rough number I'm pretty sure it's it's got to be approaching 60 to 70 face cord of wood that one blade has done um, so it's lasted quite a while and that is because of these warmer months my logs aren't dirty as you guys know because of the way i store them up off of the ground so i'm getting away with that but when it comes winter time i think i'm gonna have to you know switch to the carbide because i was switching my chains out way more frequent than you know as of this time of year right now even these 40 you know degree days are like nothing it just seems to they seem to just rip right through. When that wood is frozen and the snow is on it, it kind of holds some of the pine needles, some of the little debris a little worse than as if it was just falling off in the dry time of year. So, throw a log up there, and we'll see what kind of, what kind of saw feed rate it gives us with, you know, the wear and tear that's been on that blade for now see a lot of new faces to the channel I really appreciate you guys coming along do all firewood related stuff woodworking got a beautiful wood shop which we'll be showing a little more of here soon got a beautiful tour I'm working on get you guys down in the shop and show you kind of more of the history of that wood guy and where that wood guy's name comes from more than just you know hacking pieces of logs together I'd like to do some fine grade furniture and show you guys what that's all about so but any of my you know continued subscribers you guys know the drill everything's warming up here i got the sawdust conveyor it's running but it's not turned on and trucks here old big ford is on the job 
We got new Big Bob out here. And let's make some dust and let's do a little bit of that chain comparison. All right, so we got a decent log up there. Let's cut her and see what kind of feed rate we get, all right? There she goes. See that? We chopped right through. Looks like we're getting about 50. You guys can see that on the gauge there. All right, so I would call that really a consistent 50. You know, 50 pounds per square inch. I think that's what that goes by. Oh no, yeah, per square inch, I'm sorry. So I think it's, you know, it's definitely shortening. It's it's definitely getting down there on compared to a fresh sharp chain. It's still cutting as you guys can see. So let's throw a sharp chain on there. I'll clean this up real quick and we can do a comparison. We'll see what it gives us, my friends. Faith, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Your tire? Oh. All right, so we got the fresh chain on there. Installed nice and successful. I blew everything out nice and clean. Let's see what kind of reading we get now on the saw feed here. I'll let that chain set in first. Give it a couple, you know, just run, dry run. It's a little less. Let's do another one. Well, that blade is definitely ripping through faster, my friends. my friends I think that's definitely a difference I mean the, the saw is cutting through the logs much faster the saw feed pressure though seems close enough to be the same where I don't know if there's a much of a difference on that I don't know if I'm reading that gauge wrong guys maybe I have to look at my manual and see exactly what that is that might be just the saw feed rate how fast the you know the chain is coming down um, or I should say the feed rate but it doesn't make sense because that saw is going down faster right now with the sharper blade so leave it in the comments, you know, some of you processor goons that know a little more about that than I do. I'm not proclaiming I'm an expert, but these are my experiences with it, guys. Um, it's working beautiful. That fresh chain is, like I said, it's definitely cutting much better. So that's what we're going to stick with, and that's why I changed it, just to kind of ease up on the dull blade, and it makes it that much, you know, easier for sharpening. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick segment. I have to get back to doing my 20 face order. And I'll jump you guys in here maybe on the next video to show you how I'm making out with that. So that's the, today. That's going to do it for this one. And I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope everybody's staying safe. Thanks for all your support, my friends. Thanks for the new faces coming to the channel. I appreciate every each and every one of you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Got so much to show you guys and I'm excited to share with 
what more I have coming with that wood guy. Oh yeah, be safe my friends, catch you on the next one. See ya!